I'm here to introduce you to episode 123 of Wildlife Wednesday. Now, this is different. I'm using 123 as part of the numbering system, but that's just to make it easy for people who have followed the series so far. But the difference now is that it won't, I emphasize the fact that it won't be a weekly series anymore because as I said when I signed off episode 122 I'm no longer physically or mentally capable of producing a wildlife series every week but I've continued to make videos I've continued to do bits and pieces of personal projects not all of them for YouTube but those that are will appear at some stage but I'm going to continue Wildlife Wednesday with episode 123, this episode, as I said, to keep the numbering system following on from the previous weekly series. So, today you're going to find me roaming around the beautiful nature reserve of the Raven at Curraclough in County Wexford. I hope you enjoy it. The Raven, Curraclo in the sunny southeast. car park. Well, the roots of that tree have been well washed away, or uncovered rather. Amazing. sand from the beach all over the place anyway I'll continue to follow this path and see where it takes me although having been here in the past a long time ago admittedly I think I know where it goes to so I'll just keep walking up and up and up Let's see if there's anything interesting at the top of the hill. Here I am at another high point here in the Raven. And as you can see, there's a beautiful view of the Irish Sea right in front of me. And if I swing around, I can look back into the forest. I'll just give you a look down one of the tracks. The one that I'm going to go back along from this high point that I'm at. So there's the track in front of me, leading all the way back down towards the entrance of the Raven. But I'm going to walk down this track in the hope that I may yet get to see a red squirrel or two. We live in hope, don't we? Now there's that trail I just walked down along on my way back to the entrance which is probably another 15 minutes or so away from me. So I'll just swing right around and give you a look at a little bit of the trail that still remains. And there it is right in front of me. Unfortunately, I still haven't had a single sighting of a red squirrel, but there you go. That's wildlife photography for you. You could spend days in this place and not see one, and yet 
on another day as I found in Glenis Mole, you could come across a half dozen in a single day, even in a single hour. But it looks like today I'm out of luck here in the Raven. But I'll keep walking back towards the entrance and hopefully, maybe, just maybe, I might get lucky along the way. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now that I've reached the higher point of this particular trail. And I'll start walking down again. Just looking around the Raven here in Wexford. It would be an absolutely wonderful location for a movie. I'm sure there must have been movies made here over the years. I don't ever remember seeing one, but there you go. Just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean it hasn't been made. In actual fact, it would even be a wonderful location for a cowboy movie. We could pretend that this was the Wild West. What do you think, folks? Could the Raven in Wexford substitute for somewhere in Oregon? Along the Oregon Trail, maybe. Thanks for watching Wildlife Wednesday, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. For now, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.